이게 뭔지 아세요? 그 학살이죠. 뭐지? Yeah. I get a nice 75 right there, right on top. Seems a little high. It actually might be a uh, either an old tin one or a soju cap. One of the two. Nope, there it is, right there. We get our first coin of the day. Pull her up. Judging by the signal, it should be an old tin one coin, and it is. You see how the tin is there on the right? 1971. Solid 5152. Here in Korea, pull tabs and 101 coins sound almost exactly the same. It's quite frustrating, but you never know. Luckily, yep, there it is. We don't have to dig very much. Look at that right there. This looks a little weird. Oh, yeah, it's an old 1978 101. Not very rare, not worth very much, but you know, it's 101. I'm already sweaty. Wearing this mask doesn't make it any easier. I'm like, like an oven for my face, but I've already got a another 53 signal 53 right here, right there 52, 53. This could be a 50 or 501. Let's see what we got here. Please don't be a pull tab. Although, yep, you are right there. A really big fat one. Okay, so. We have a 68, 69 here. A little different than what we normally get from modern stuff. So this might actually be good. Could also be a soju cap or something cooler. Look at that. What are you? What are you? Check that out. It's a pin of some sort. Oh man, that's cool. That is the Taegukki. That, that's the, the symbol for the Korean flag down the bottom. What is this? Oh my goodness. Well, I just cleaned it off. If I dropped it like that. That is cool. 여러분들은 이거 뭔지 아시면 이거 알려주세요. 이게 무슨 핀 같은데요? 이 밑에 그 태극기 그 동그라미 있고 Oh, this thing is beautiful. I wonder what it is. All right, let's keep going. I told you it was weird. One of the cool things about this place metal detecting here is uh, a lot of the old people, they actually come up here pretty often. They actually ask what you're like looking for and stuff like that. So we might get a chance to figure out what that like pin or badge was. If somebody, you know, asks us what we're doing, we might be able to ask them. What it was, but I don't think it's silver. It didn't ring hot pie enough, but it's definitely really cool. I think there's some garbage signal right next to this uh, 70 signal here, and this actually is probably garbage. Uh, 70 in multi freak is uh, not the best signal, but it could be a 10 one. We never know. Um, so we'll Dig it up and see. And it is, check that out. So we have a nice 10 won coin. This is a newer one, uh, 1993. <laughs> I just found something really sweet. So I got the headphones off. Uh, I got really hot and I got this signal and it sounded like a 101 coin and I was like, dang, because pull tabs and 101 coins, 1960s and 70s pull tabs and 101 coins sound exactly the same. And I was like, you know, I'll dig it up anyways because it sounded really good. But check this out. Rings up with like a 53 and I got it right here in the dirt. I put it back in. Look at this badge. You got to be very careful. But this looks like a high school uh, old cat badge. Oh my gosh, if that isn't the coolest thing ever. Look at the back. Uh, so typically here in Korea, if you find a badge that says cool, then it normally means high school. That is freaking sweet. <laughs>
Okay, so right next to our high school hat bed, a nice 77. Ah. This memorial looks like it was set up in 1977, but apparently the guy was telling me that prior to the Korean War, the Japanese had massacred uh, a lot of civilians right behind me, like back here. Uh, and so that Arisaka round, that bullet that I just found is probably a stray bullet from that massacre. We found other Arisaka bullets and um, bullet casings and I thought that they were related to the Korean War but this guy is saying that they're not. He's saying that the Arasaka bullets that they used in the beginning of the war and those are different. Uh, this is actually pretty creepy but we're gonna go back over here and see uh, see if we can find anything else. So we have the high school hat badge and to be honest that one looks like probably 1950s ish. Koreans weren't allowed to have like Korean characters on their stuff during the occupation period, so probably from the 50s. So we have a badge, uh, we have the bullet, wherever that came out at, I can't remember. Uh, and then right here, we had another 5051 signal, and it is a uh, it's a coin. It is the, uh, it's an old coin. It's a 1981 uh, 51 coin. This is the old design, they look very cool. The color looks good. So in this one little, here. I mean, we're in like what a square, three, two square, three square feet. Uh, we have three different types of uh, pieces of Korean history. It's really amazing, and we haven't even moved much. We have another sweet coin right here. This is an old tin one. These coins are coming out really well. Pop the dirt off, and. There's our bag boy right there. Right under the dirt. This looks like a 500 won coin, and it is. A little big one. 500 won. This is like our version of the half dollar here in Korea, and we still use it today. So I got this 55 right here under my feet. Started digging, saw the coin, I'm gonna show you guys. Listen to what we have to deal with here. Let's see how that thing pulls it out. Pulls out the sweet targets. And I put her in here so she wouldn't dry out. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Right here. Pretty sure this is 51. Yep, it is. It is a 51 coin. 1989. Check this out. I mean, we got signals all over the place. There's one, right there, 77, 70s. We'll pop them out. Oh, I see it right there. Can you see that? It's small, oh, please be good. Oh, it's small. Oh, please be good. Oh, I didn't expect this. Oh, it's a tin Juan. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. All right. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the tin Juan. It says 4292, so it's 1959. This is the Republic of Korea's first coin. It is not the Republic of Korea's first Korean-made coin because these were actually made in America. I think the Philadelphia men and then brought here to Korea. But this is the Republic of Korea's first coin and it was sitting right there under that 50 won. So when the Bank of Korea came out with the tin won uh, in 1966, you could actually still use these. I think it was to like 
1975 it was actually pretty late where you could use uh, this coin but whenever they came out with the new coins this was uh, exchangeable for a one one coin um, so you still find these here on these sites that are uh, from the 60s and 70s because you can still use them uh, that's pretty cool I didn't expect that today that's pretty awesome willing to bet that this is a 10 one Oh, right there, look at that. Uh, just because I keep digging up so many pull tabs. I'm going to try to ignore those signals and go after the higher tones because that's going to be the uh, 1 Juan and the 10 Juan coins that I really want. So uh, I'm going to concentrate on those. Luckily, right next to that 10 Juan, I found another high signal. So we're going to dig this. Oh, I see it right there. Got her. Nice 10 Juan. All right, and we have our... 71. All right, so I found a tin one there, another tin one there, another tin one there. Uh, and I wasn't actually going to film this one because I keep filming tin one coins over and over again. But I popped it out and look at the impression on the coin. And then there's our, there's a coin right there. This is the fourth coin that I pulled out from this little spot right here. Everyone, when you're metal detecting, always check your holes. My feet literally haven't moved. My feet didn't move one millimeter. Same hole. <laughs> and I push it out right there. Ten one. All right, this is dumb. There are more coins in there. <laughs> I just pulled this one out. Ten one. Put the pinpointer in. There's more. There it is, right there. Booms keys. Oh, this is a big tin one. Big tin one right there. Let's see if there's more. And there are. Oh my goodness. Just popping them out. There it is. Another tin one. Is there more? No? Oh my gosh. There it is. What is going on here? And more? Okay. Phew. You know, one of the benefits of uh, there being a lot of rain is a lot of stuff gets washed out. Uh, but coming around this corner, uh, <laughs> come around like this, and found that fella right on top. Hello there. Yes! <laughs> okay, so I pulled that tin one right out of the ground and I came right around there. There's this fat signal, 7980. And it is one of my favorite things to find ever. Oh, this is great. Check out this signal. Solid 80, solid uh, bronze or brass signal. It is, this is a freaking. This is a uh, Korean War backpack buckle. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. All right, this um, looks like it's US. <clears throat> Definitely looks like it's US. So this would be one of the small straps on the back of the M1945 rucksack. <clears throat> Dang, man. I wonder if there's more pieces of it over here. So, I gotta show you, man. I show you guys, uh, there's a lot of history here on this hill. Japanese occupation, massacre site. Then Korean War, the Battle of Pyeongtaek stuff here. This could be from Task Force Smith, who knows? You've got uh, 60s, 70s activity here. This is a great mountain to be, uh, be metal detecting on. Very happy I found this. Seriously, of Korean War artifacts, uh, belt buckles are like, buckles are like one of my favorites of all time. I love them so much. I don't know why, I just, so awesome guys this corner keeps getting even better I just walking straight from where that buckle was hit the really high seven was the 75 76 you guys see it right on the surface this 
this is very very weird looking not this is not a uh, definitely not a carbina grand maybe Chinese North Korean definitely not ours okay so I'm hitting back down the Garrett apex was amazing we found some really cool things today I'm just getting eaten up by mosquitoes or I'd go a little bit longer but I got some stuff to do so we're gonna go down to the car and I'm gonna show you guys what we found today uh, and then we'll call it a day all right, so this is what we have for the day. Uh, we have a crap ton of uh, modern coins, like loads and loads of 10 ones, a couple of five ones, couple, I, did we even get a couple of 100 ones today? Yeah, we got, a, we got some good coins. Uh, I'm gonna check these years and make sure that there's not any rare ones. I guess of the uh, of all the coins we found today, this is the coolest, the 1959 10 Juan. We have the police. Rank insignia, we have a very, very old high school hat badge, a probable 303 uh, bullet, an Arisaka bullet, probably related to the massacre up there, uh, and an M1945 buckle. I would say that's a killer day. Until next metal detecting adventure, I will see you next time. this video I just want to say something to Garrett metal detectors I want to thank you guys for sending me a hat that fits I really appreciate it I have a really really big head I mean I've gotten hats from Nocta I've gotten hats from mind lab those hats they're too shallow and they're too small I mean I have a huge head my head is huge it's very big no head is bigger than mine and this hat is awesome I just want to say thank you epix hat best hat see ya